What's going on everybody? This is Maximilian and it is 3 o'clock in the morning, which means it's an opportune time to make a video! Yay! So we're gonna play some Duels of the Planeswalkers. I don't know why I'm up so- well, I'll tell you why I'm up so late. It's because I slept in today. I skipped my classes and slept in, so sue me. Alright, so we're fighting Jace Balaren. Actually, we already fought Jace Balaren. However, the audio recording wasn't so great. It kind of cut out, like, every couple of seconds, which was unfortunate because it actually turned out really well. Like, the game was over in, like, five turns, I think. I just absolutely crushed him. Just humiliated Jace. And now I have to do it again. Of course. Go figure. This would happen to me. So I apologize if the audio is a bit, uh, a bit more volume That's That's not even a word. Don't forget I ever said that. Hopefully it's a bit louder this time. It'll probably be a bit louder because, for whatever reason, whenever I start getting into low, quiet voices, my mic will tend to cut out. It has something to do with the mix amp, I have no idea. Anywho, we are gonna keep this hand. This looks like a pretty good hand to keep against Jace. Um, in previous versions of Duels of the Planeswalkers, he was a lot more control-oriented, although he seems to have gone more towards the aggro control thing, because now he seems to have a bit of an Illusions tribal theme, with a little bit of control elements, like a few counter spells, bounce spells, and a time warp. Oh well, whatever. Uh, basically our game plan is the same as it would be against any other Jace deck, and that is to attack him quickly and kill him before he can set himself up, because once a blue deck gets set up, man, it is a long way up to him. So, I'm going to play my Gideon's Law Keeper here, because Jace has a lot of illusions in his deck, and many of them have the claws like Phantasmal Bear has. I'll show that to you when he's done attacking. Yeah, we're gonna take two damage. That's okay. We'll be fine. We'll survive. Don't worry, guys. All right. Basically, it's Phantasmal Bear and a couple of other creatures do do too. They have the um the, tar the text um, when they become the target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. So we're gonna use Gideon's Lawkeeper to our advantage here and target them with his tap ability to essentially kill them, which is awesome. They may be efficient creatures, but they're very easy to deal with, especially for a deck like ours, which has very little removal to begin with. So we're going to spend one mana playing that guy. And we're going to activate his ability to tap, I mean kill, ha 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 ha, Jace's creature. Yeah, that was a good turn. Okay. And hopefully Jace doesn't play anything else this turn, because I really would like to get into the red zone. The sooner we can start attacking him, the better. I wish I had the Core Duelist and uh, Trusty Machete combo I had the last time I played him. That just literally rocked his socks off. He couldn't do anything about it. Okay, uh... I'm thinking Lawkeeper. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking Lawkeeper here. Wait for it. Oh, he didn't have the cancel. Yes! Alright, nothing to tap, so get in the red zone. And three damage to Jace technically puts us ahead on life, although... It Okay, fleeting. Aw, oh, fine. Be that way. I think that's a one of in his deck, too, which is really weird. I don't understand the card. So we do no combat damage from that guy, and Jace gains life and draws the card. whoop de doo Doesn't matter. We're still gonna kill you anyway, Jace. Mm, excuse me. Ugh. Man, all that study food is making a comeback. I don't know if this is just a habit of mine. Like, it could just be that... I am, like, absolutely terrible when it comes to controlling myself when I'm studying. But do you feel like, um, you just have the absolute need to binge on snack food whenever you're studying because you you feel like you're going to be more productive? Or maybe you just start craving things like chips and salsa? I, I don't know why, but I had way too much chips and salsa. So, it was... Oh man, it was too much. Way too much. I should not have eaten that much today, but I did. All right. Hookmaster is going to tap down his guy, and it will keep him tapped for next turn, too, which will be very nice when we go around to attacking. And since his creature became tapped, Gideon gets to attack for more. Or, sorry, Gideon's Avenger. It's not the actual Gideon Jura. I think technically I'm Gideon Jura since I am the Planeswalker wielding his spells, but now nah, whatever. My avatar is a Frost Titan, not Gideon Jura. So we'll stick with that. Get in for six damage, and hopefully, we'll draw a land for this Sari Angel we have in our hand, because that guy is a beast. Alright, Jace, what you got for me? Ooh, he's got... No, I don't want to say he's got nothing, because that's not necessarily true. Whenever you're playing a blue deck, they tend to play a lot of stuff on your turn, so he's probably holding up some kind of goodies. Hmm. I think I'm just going to get in and see what we can 
do later on my main phase. I don't need to tap anything. So, swing with the team. Let's see if he's got anything. Maybe like a repulse? Yep, he's got a repulse. Well, that sucks. That means that counter on our Gideon's Avenger is going to go away, and we're not going to get in for as much as I would have liked to this turn. But still, we're getting in for five. That's a sizable chunk. That puts Jace on what's going to end up being a one-turn clock to play Sarah Angel. As long as he doesn't have another Repulse in hand for her on the turn, we should be able to win this game. All right, he's got six mana. And he's not... Oh, he is playing something. Oh, he got a blocker. Well, we can tap it down, but we won't be able to swing for lethal this turn. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I really wanted to swing for lethal. Uh, Yeah, we'll play the Lawkeeper and Stoneforge Mystic. We'll play the... Or the Avenger, sorry. We'll play the Avenger first, because we can use um, Gideon's Lawkeeper to tap down his Air Elemental, and then get a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, we don't have to play Stoneforge Mystic. We don't have to overcommit on the board. Right now, the board presence is completely ours. Jace is under a huge threat here. He has to deal with everything that we have out here before he can actually worry about winning. So, playing Stoneforge Mystic right now isn't relevant. It, it doesn't really make a huge difference. He's got to block something. And our guy won't live. His guy will, because he's a 2-3 as opposed to our 2-2s. Two mm-hmm. Uh, that's a shame, but still, now we got him at one life. I've got a guy with flying, so unless he can throw another guy out there with flying, we should win next turn. Okay. I don't really care if you have an unblockable guy. That's fine. You still can't block my guy with flying. Alright. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna tap your air elemental. Anything cool? Nope. Alright, let's attack him for the win. Sarah Angel in the air? Yes! We have vanquished the Blue Planeswalker, Chase Bellerin. Or Bellerin, whatever. However you pronounce it. I don't know. I just gotten used to Bellerin just because it's um that's how it reads phonetically if you've ever seen a Japanese version of it so that's just what I've gotten used to reading it I don't know whatever random aside but yes we've beaten Jace woohoo for the second time albeit but you know what my mishap just essentially led me to playing more duels of the Planeswalkers and not going to bed that's really okay oh and I got to unlock another card yes last time I played I unlocked the Sword of War and Peace which is a ridiculous equipment, especially for this game. And now that we've unlocked Baneslayer Angel, like, our deck is just retarded. I'm going to go ahead and modify this. Because Baneslayer Angel's ridiculous. There's absolutely no reason why we should not be playing her in our deck. I'm thinking we go get one of the other big finishers out of there. I mean, she's a strictly better Sarah Angel, but at the same time, I do want to keep her in there, just because, you know, Sarah Angel is awesome. But... Oh, mmm. Oh, Captain of the Watch. Mmm. Nah, I think Conqueror's Pledge is probably a card that we can take out of here. We're probably not going to be kicking that very often, so really it's... I mean, 6 one ones is cool, but I'd much rather have a Bane Slayer Angel earlier in the curve. So yeah, we're going to stick with that. Anywho, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, always nice to have you tuning in for more Duels of the Planeswalkers. I may opt into the blue deck just because I really do enjoy playing blue, and I'm pretty sure you guys are getting a little sick of seeing Wielding Steel. So maybe I'll change it up for the next time when we kick Sarkin Falls, black, red, and green little ass. Until then, see you later.